All right, guys, welcome back to another edition, another lesson edition episode, whatever you want to call it, in each kind of African martial arts, right? Our instructors program, we're teaching you guys how to, how to teach, right? How to be instructors and how to pass on to the next generation African martial arts, right? Now, keep in mind, I say this in every lesson, right? African martial arts, Ijikai specifically, is focused on Pan-African philosophy, concept, way of life, right? We are trying to reconnect to our roots, to our origin, where we come from, who we are as African people, right? That's what Ijikai is all about. It's not just kick and punch and learn how to beat somebody up, okay? The idea is how do we connect to our past, to our great legacy of African warriors and leaders? How do we reconnect to that and draw that out from within us, right? To build up our community and to unite as a people, right? Because we are stronger together than we ever will be as individuals, okay? Being In terms of being an African person, right? We're community-based people, right? Family-based people, that's just who we are, right? So I'm always talking to you guys about family, connecting to the earth, to connect to nature, to connect to who we are as people, okay? So keep that in mind as we continue to, um, to, to go through our lessons, okay? So as you're teaching, make sure you connect what you're doing to the philosophy, okay? So when we talk about our footwork, previously we're working on a jingle, right? We talked about connecting to the earth and how we as earth-based people, right? It's very important to connect to our land, to our motherland, to Africa, right? And who we are, okay? So in this lesson, uh, we're gonna be working now on pivoting, okay? Now pivoting is very similar to what we've done previously with our jinga in terms of turning, right? We talked about turning in our jinga, how I can turn and, and move in my jinga, right? Now pivoting, um, the difference is pivoting we're gonna do from you know, pretty much in relation to our opponent, okay? So a lot of times your opponent is not gonna be, you, you know, directly in front of you. He's gonna be trying to circle you. He's gonna be trying to do what? Get towards your back, right? He's gonna try to hit you in the side of the head, hit you in the areas where it's much harder to defend yourself, right? So we're using a pivot so we can turn and face our opponent, okay? As our opponent is circling and moving around us. Keep in mind, you always wanna think about cutting angles, right? And circling your opponent. Don't always try to go toe to toe with someone, okay? It's a lot harder of a fight that way, okay? So again, in African martial arts, we're using physics, science, geometry, math, right? We're using these concepts and principles to make our life easier in terms of fighting and defending ourselves. So what we're gonna do with a pivot is real simple. We're using a curved line, okay? We're using a curved line. So our, our front foot is gonna turn, just like we were turning in our jinga, except our rear foot, our other foot, okay? Whatever foot you're not turning, okay? That foot's consistently gonna be circling, right? Again, keep in mind, we got curved lines and straight lines, right? So there's gonna be a curved line circling, okay? To face my opponent, okay? If you're my opponent here, I'm gonna pivot or turn on my front foot and pivot my back foot around, right? In a curved line so I can keep you in front of me, right? And notice how I'm back here in my toe to heel alignment. Always check your alignment, okay? Make sure you got toe to heel alignment, but you're essentially back in your jinga, right? Able to use your footwork, okay? You always wanna stay that toe to heel alignment, okay? As you pivot, right? Now keep in mind, this is always in relation to your opponent. This toe to heel alignment is always in relation to your opponent, okay? So I can be toe to heel aligned right here, okay? But if my opponent moves and he's in front of me, now my groin is open. I'm not no longer in toe to heel alignment. So very important to keep that, all right? So pivoting, we have half pivot and we have full pivot, just like we have a full step and a half step. The only difference is anything less than a 90 degree angle is gonna be a half pivot. For example, and that's most of the pivots you're gonna do is anything less than 90, okay? Typically, you're not gonna do a full pivot very often. Sometimes I'll use a full pivot, which essentially becomes a full step. I'm, I'm typically using that when I'm moving backwards, okay? Or when I'm retreating, okay? But typically not using that going forward or to do anything else, okay? So if my opponent's circling me, I'm taking this half pivot pivot, right? So I'm doing less than a 90 degree angle, okay? 90 degree angle means that I'm less than a quarter turn, right? So you got a 360 turn, right? And I'm going to spin all the way around, right? It's a 360 turn, okay? So I'm going to do less than a 360 turn, okay? And certainly less than a 180 turn, 180 turn being coming all the way through, okay? And that's what essentially is going to be a step through, right? Or a full step, okay? Like we've done previously, right? But now I'm just doing a half pivot, okay? Half pivot. So it's less than 90, okay? I'm just a little bit of a turn, right? Just to face my attacker, just to face my attacker, okay? Now, if my attacker is directly behind me like you guys are, right? Certainly I can do a full pivot, right? And turn all the way around, okay? But again, the longer you're on one foot, okay? The more, the easier it is for you to get knocked off balance, okay? So typically, I wanna keep my steps nice and small. I don't wanna make large stepping movements, okay? I don't wanna be on one foot for too long, so keep that in mind. But I do want you guys to practice this half pivot. Now, you're typically gonna half pivot with your front foot being the pivot point, okay? The pivot point. So I'm typically gonna turn or move my back foot in most cases, okay? The reason for that is because you wanna maintain distance, okay? So in other words, I don't want to turn, if my opponent is here, 
I don't want to turn into my opponent with my front foot, right? So now I'm getting closer, right? So if you're my opponent, I don't want to pivot on my back foot and take my front foot and turn. Now I just got, I ran into him, right? And he may be throwing a punch, okay? So instead, I'm going to keep my distance and I'm going to take my rear foot and move it back, okay? Now I just created space, okay? So that's why we're typically going to use our front foot as a pivot point to face our opponent because that maintains space and distance to keep us away. Now certainly you can use your back foot as a pivot point, like if someone is behind you, right, you can certainly turn and face them, right? And that just changed your stance, right? Whether you may have been in more of a southpaw with your right leg forward, as soon as I turn to face them here, now what? I'm in a left, a left stance, right? Orthodox, okay? Look at my left side forward, okay? So you can certainly pivot off your back foot as a pivot point, but typically you're doing that to face your rear side for the most part, okay? So that is your half pivot, okay? Now a full pivot, again, is taking your foot here and going past 90, okay? You may go all the way to 180 here, okay? And that's a 180 turn here as I go from here all the way in front, okay? That's 180. Typically, again, you're not gonna do this very often because you're not gonna swing around and punch like that. In this case, you would typically just do a full step and come forward, okay? Or a full step at an angle here, that's fine, okay? But I typically will use this uh, full pivot and which again, it becomes a full step because you're stepping all the way through, okay? But I'm typically using this to retreat, right? To move back, okay? To move back. And I'm using this to move away from my opponent. And you can do this at pretty fast speeds, okay? Because keep in mind, walking is natural. Putting one foot in front of the other or one foot behind another is natural, okay? It's a natural way to move, okay? If you're moving like this, <laughs> right? <laughs> You can be very fast, but it's unnatural way of moving, right? We don't typically move like that on a daily basis. So when you're doing your running, whether you're running forward to come into someone or moving back, keep in mind, that's a more natural way to move. And you're gonna be a little bit faster that way than just moving one foot at a time, okay? Like this, so this is basically a series of half steps, okay? So full steps are faster, but they're also a little bit more risk associated with them because your feet are off the ground a little bit longer. So that is your half pivot and full pivot.